So the first thing we do is we line up against the confessionals. Another server or a deacon will light the candles. And then once everyone is ready, we'll line up to process in. The order will be the crucifix in the middle, two candles next to the two shoulders. The priest or the deacon will ring the bells. And then the music will start. Once the choir starts singing, that will be the cue for the crucifix to start moving. And the candles will walk with them. Once you get to the steps, you'll go all the way up and stop between the step, the last step and the altar. And the three of you guys will bow, do a little head bow, and then go to the back to put up the cross and the candles. Once you guys have put away your stuff, you'll come and find your seat. One altar server will be in charge of carrying the missile, which will be over here. The other two will stay over there, or however many other servers there will be. Um, the priest will introduce the Mass, and he'll stand over here at the presider's chair. Once, um, he gets, once everyone gets to the Gloria, the server in charge of the missile will grab the missile, and usually it is the first ribbon that is ready, and they'll grab it and put it against their chest. And then once we get to, in the Gloria, talking about the Holy Spirit, the server will move to the chair. The priest will then proceed to pray the collect, which always ends with God forever and ever. At this point, everyone will say amen, and the book bearer will close the book and go back to their seat. Once the book bearer has gotten to their seat, they will proceed to the liturgy of the word. The book, everyone will look at the book bearer. Once they are ready to sit down, everyone will sit down together. At this point in the Mass, we move into the Liturgy of the Word. There will be various readings. The first reading comes from the Old Testament. The next reading is the Responsory Psalm, which is sung by the choir. After the Psalm becomes the second reading, that's the point where the two candle bearers go back and they'll grab their candles and get ready for the Gospel procession. During the second reading, the two candle bearers will be waiting here and waiting for the Gospel acclamation, which begins with the Alleluia. Once the Alleluia begins, the two candles will start moving to the altar. You can move. And everyone will stand for the Alleluia. One candle bearer will move to one corner of the altar. The next candle bearer will go to the other side. In the middle, the deacon or another priest will come to the middle and they'll grab the book, the gospel readings. And when the two candle bearers, you'll be looking at the deacon or the priest in order for the next turning points. Once the, two, once the deacon turns around to face congregation, the candle bearers will turn together with the congregation. Once the deacon turns to the right, the candles will turn to the right and proceed to the ambo. When they get to the ambo, they will face each other at the two peaks. So once the altar servers and the deacon or the priest make it to the ambo, the other servers will turn towards the gospel for the reading. They'll proclaim the gospel of the Lord, which ends with praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. At that moment, the two altar uh, candle bearers will go to the back and the deacon or the priest will stay at the ambo to give their homily. Once they have put their candles away, they'll return to their seats. And once everyone is at their seats, they'll sit down together. Once the priest or the deacon is done with their homily, they'll come back to their chair and sit down. He'll invite everyone to stand. At that point, the altar server with the book will stand up with the binder. The binder might be different colors depending on the liturgical season and they'll get it ready and stand in front of the presider's chair. At this point, the priest will read off the creed and invite everyone to say the creed together. Once the creed is done, he'll turn the page and begin to pray the prayer of the faithful. Once he is done, he'll read off the last intention, which ends with Amen. At the end of that Amen, the book bearer will close the binder and go back to their seat.
the conclusion of the prayer of the faithful, we begin to set up the altar. The person who is in charge of the book will take the whole book stand and the missile. And then the next altar server will take the corporal on top of the chalice. The altar server will set it down to the left of the deacon or the priest. The other altar server will give the corporal. The next thing that comes is the chalice and the saboria. The saboria are the things that hold the host. And it's important whenever you give things to the priest or the deacon to always bow when you receive and give items. While we're setting up the altar, people will bring gifts, which are another ciborium and a cruet full of wine. The priest will receive them and turn around and give it to an altar server. At this point, the altar server will go back. So will the priest. The altar server will hand off the ciborium and prepare the wine. After the ciboria are all given out, they'll begin to um, bring out the chalices full of wine. It's important that you have a steady hand with the chalices because they do have wine inside of them. The deacon or the priest will grab the wine, pour it into the chalice, or receive it back. Then they'll hand off the water. They'll hand it back. At this point, the altar service will bow and put the cruets back onto the credence table. After putting away the wine and the water, if there are two altar servers, one will grab the pitcher and the other one will grab the bowl and the towel and they'll go to the altar and the priest will wash his hands. And then he'll dry his hands, they'll bow together and they'll set all the items back into the credence table. Once the altar is set, the priest will invite the rest of the congregation to stand up the next cue for the altar servers is that as a community we'll sing the Holy, Holy, Holy or the Sanctus. At the end of the Sanctus, we'll all kneel down at these steps. One altar server will be ready at the bells and the others will kneel next to them. At this point, it is important that the altar server with the bells is looking at the priest and paying attention to his hands. Once the priest calls down the Holy Spirit, he moves his hands over the chalice and the altar server rings the bells once. The next thing that will follow, the priest will elevate the Eucharist. At that moment, the altar server will ring the bells three times. So the priest comes to the elevation. The next thing that will follow is the raising of the chalice. Again, once the priest comes to a full stop, the altar server will ring the bells three times. At this point, we'll sing the mystery of faith, which can have different variations depending on what the choir sings. The next cue for the altar server is that we'll sing the great Amen. On Sundays, it is sung three times. We'll say, Amen, Amen, Amen. At the end of the last Amen, we'll stand up. The next thing that will follow is the Our Father, and we'll say the Our Father. After the Our Father, one of the deacons or another priest will um, give the sign of peace, and will ask us to show a sign of peace to everyone. We'll, at his altar service, we'll give handshakes. Sometimes the priest will come by and give you a handshake as well. At this point, we'll sing the Agnus Dei, or the Lamb of God. After the Lamb of God, we'll kneel back down. This next part of the Mass is the communion rite. Um, the next cue for the altar servers, they'll be looking at the priest. The, the priest will receive communion by eating the Eucharist. After he has eaten the Eucharist, he will drink from the chalice. Once the chalice has hit the corporal, that will be the cue for the altar servers to stand up and stand next to the altar to receive communion. Next, the altar service will receive communion. To receive communion, you will bow, and you will receive in the hand or on the tongue. Once all the altar servers have received, everyone except for the book bearer will go back to kneel at the steps, and the book bearer will go grab the missile and the missile stand.
The altar server will genuflect at the altar, grab the missile in the missile stand, bow, and set the missile in the stand back on the credence table. Once they are done, they'll go and kneel with the other altar servers. Once the priest is done distributing communion, he'll come up the steps. Once he comes up the steps, that'll be the cue for the altar servers to get ready to tear down the altar. The first altar server will grab the water cruet and be ready to hand it to the priest so he can start purifying the vessels. Once he pours the water in, he'll hand it back to the altar server. And the next altar service will be ready to hand, be handed back the vessels and take it back to the credence table. Once the vessel has been purified, the priest or the deacon will begin handing the items back to the altar servers and they'll put it back on the credence table. The last thing that will be handed to the altar server is the chalice and everything that goes on top of it. You'll grab it by the stem, put the hand on top, bow, and go back to the credence table. Once the altar is clear, the altar servers will sit down together and the book bearer will get the missile ready. Once the priest is ready, he'll stand up and invite everyone to stand and the book bearer will stand up and go in front of the priest. The priest will pray the prayer after communion, which ends with, through Christ our Lord, he'll say amen. At that point, the book bearer will close the book and go back to their seat, still standing. After the prayer after communion, the priest will grab the tray with the picks and invite those who are delivering the Eucharist to the sick to come forward. He'll give them the picks. He'll give them a blessing. Once that is done, he'll return with an empty tray and he'll hand the tray off to an altar server. The altar server will put it back on the credence table. After the altar server has put the tray back down, the priest will give the final blessing. At the end of the blessing, uh, everyone will respond with thanks be to God. At that point, after we say thanks be to God, all the altar servers will go to the back to grab their items for the recession. So once you have your items, the cross will lead down the steps. The candles will follow afterwards. If there are any other altar servers, they'll follow after the candles. The crucifer will lead them down the steps. The candles will get off to the sides. They'll be looking at the priest. Once the priest genuflects, those who are holding items will do a head bow and the other servers will genuflect if they can. Once the priest turns around, all the altar servers will turn around and recess out.